All right, so this is going to be a quick, not even quick. This might be a long lesson on price action, just the beginning and the basics. Um, you're getting all this knowledge for free, so you don't have to worry about too much of anything after this. This is like once you once you watch this whole video through, you'll basically understand how to trade. I feel like personally, price action is one of the best ways to trade. There's no other way that I can be like, oh, this is the best way. I feel like price action is the best way. Anything else you see, honestly, I feel like it doesn't work. I don't care what anybody say. I feel like if your strategy or, cause I don't like using the word strategy. If, if your way of trading isn't with using price action or some kind of price action, I feel like it is not the best way to trade and you shouldn't take advice from it. So coming into this, we're going to be breaking down some of the basic ways that you can use price action. None of the YouTube crazy junk, just straight trading. Everything I'm saying is things I use, things I do, and what I know. So everything I say in this video is 100% what I've used, what I've used, what I do, and everything I know. So let's get into it. First, let's just, um, let's talk about what price, price action is, All right? So a support level, we have resistance and we have support. All right, right? We have resistance and we have support. Let's just make this one as tall as this one. All right now, a resistance, a resistance is how or price can go up at a certain point, right? And then this one is how far price can go down at a certain point. All right, so if we come into the market and we see a resistance or we see a support, this is how price will react to it. Price will come into this area and continue to bounce. It might be one bounce and then head back down. It might be two bounces, three bounces, and then head down. Of course, a couple and it could break. But this is a resistance. As you can see, price is leveled out at this point. Price can no longer go high. Some people can say this is a ceiling. This is how far you can go up. Support, same way. This is how far price can go down. So it'll bounce off, come back up to the upside. And that is the same thing. So remember this because these are important so much this is this is like the most important part so if we're looking also in detail of what a resistance and a support is this is an area where sellers are waiting to push price down sellers this is where sellers are at. this is the sellers layer this is where they like to camp at same way here but this time this is where the buyers are at. This is where the buyers are at, and this is where they're mostly camping at. So what do I mean by this? If there's sellers waiting at this resistance level, every time price comes up into this level, there's gonna to be too many sellers for the bulls, because it's going up. There's gonna to be too many sellers in this area and it's gonna have a reaction by pushing down. Same way with sales. If it's selling, there's too many buyers sitting at this level waiting to push price back up. That's why price has these reactions. This is why this is a resistance and this is why this is a support, right? Okay, next we have 
a downturn. This is a downturn. Now, how do we identify a downturn? First, we identify the highs and lows. First, we identify the low in the market. Then we ask ourselves in this area, is price breaking either a high or is it breaking a low? So then it makes a high. So this is our high and we've identify our highs and our lows. If price is breaking lows, this means price is in a downtrend. So price is breaking lows. This is confirming that price is in a downtrend. Price is still breaking lows. So this is also confirming that price is in a downtrend along with the terms lower highs and lower lows. So this would be a lower high. because this high is lower than the previous high. And this would be a lower low. Because this low is lower than the previous one. And it's a repeating pattern. This one, it never stops. It just keeps going down. We keep going down. The lows just get lower and lower. So this is how you know if price is in a downtrend or not by identifying these. Same way with an uptrend. Uptrend, these are higher highs and higher lows. I don't know why it's copying that one. All right, so this is how you identify an uptrend. You first find your high. Is this high being broken by another high? Yes, so this would indicate that price is in an uptrend. All right, so now that we understand some of the basic parts, Let's get into actually seeing it on the charts. Now, as we can identify already from what I was explaining earlier, we have a high, we have a low. We have a high, we have a low. A high, a low. Highest point, lowest point. Highest point, lowest point highest point and we could be continuing down to make our lowest point so with all this being said what trend are we on this would be considered a downtrend all right because price is breaking lows in the market All right, so now that we got the basics, I'm basically gonna start explaining how you can find trades, how can you find setups, how to use price action, how to use the basics in the markets, right? So I like to use this thing called ICC. And what ICC means is Price will give you an indication of where it's going, then a correction, and then it will continue later on. So I'm going to break this down, right? 
let's go on ahead and get it started. So we're in this downtrend, price has highs in the market, right? These highs must not be broken. If you're in a downtrend, highs should not be broken. Only lows should be broken in a downtrend, right? So we have price having highs in the market, lows. After price makes a low, you should always get prepared for price to make the high for you. So we're gonna fast forward and we see price make a high for us. And then it's broken right here. So in most people's scenario, this right here will be a break of structure. This right here is a break of structure and price is now breaking above a high. This is our indication that above this level, price has potential to buy up higher. But what I like to tell people is whenever price gives you an indication, we never buy the breakout. We always wait because the breakout will end up pulling back in anyways. This is price grabbing liquidity as well. So this think about all the all the traders that are new to trading. If they see price is going crazy and it's a breakout, they're looking to get in as soon as possible because they feel like they're missing out. They're going to feel like they're missing out on this. But us, I'm going to teach y'all, we are going to wait, see how high price goes. As it comes back down, we'll be looking to trade back above this level and we'll be looking to target here because we already know we already know above this level, we already know what price is going to go to. So it's effortless once price is back above this level. So we're going to fast forward until price breaks above this level. We don't have to take any trades because, and we don't have to worry about sales either because we already have our indication of where price wants to go. Price would have never broke this high if it, if it wanted to sell off. If price wanted to sell, it would not break highs. It would continue the downtrend that it was on the whole time. Look at this downtrend high, downtrend highs. If price wanted to really buy, it will be breaking highs. So we're watching the fact that price broke a high. We got our indication. We have a correction. Now we're waiting for the continuation above this level. Right. And I'm going to press buy and sell whenever I'm looking to get into a position. So we're still not focused on anything. We have a support level here. We have a support level here, still not being broken. Let me just keep fast forwarding. Okay. So as we bring this over a little bit more, Price is getting ready to break above this level. I've been through this trade already, so I'm kind of basically going over what I've known, but let's break it down. Right? So as price starts to build up, we finally get that break above this level, as we can see right above here. Now, in real time, we'll be able to see price come back above this level. So in real time, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to say we bought here, but just know when I'm saying we buy here, I'm saying we buying here. So really our buy is supposed to be right here because we're looking for this same reaction that happened here because we know price is going to do the same thing. This is our indication, a correction, consolidation happened, and then we're looking for the continuation to happen later on. So as we continue, we finally get price to be above this level. This is where we're taking our entries in real time. Everything on the simulated is going to be a little bit off because real time you have to be, you really have to be on the charts for you to understand price action. So we're going to be targeting this level here because we know this is where price likes to go above this level. We're going to keep our stop loss below the previous lows. Since we got in here, our entry technically would be our stop loss, but let's say we enter here because this is where our entry level should be coming from. 
our entry level should be coming from here and our stop loss should be below here but like i said since prices um not in real time i can't show you but in real time i would definitely show you more trades so with everything being said we'll be targeting this level the reason why we're targeting this level is because price already showed us that it likes to go to this level once it's above here so we're going to keep fast forwarding and price is going to eventually hit its target. Now, this is also price giving us another indication because what is it doing? After a downtrend, it's breaking the highs of the previous one. So this is letting us know price is bullish above this level. So wherever price ends at, that is what we're looking at. So we're going to continue to watch price. Right. All right. So this looks like this is the highest price wants to go right now. For the time being, this is our highest point. So we know back above this level. Price can come up to this next level. That's what we know just based off of price breaking this high. So we're going to pay attention to the fact that price broke this level and came up this high. So we know if it price breaks this high, we know exactly where it's going to go. So let me mark all of this. This was our indication. This is our correction. And we finally got the continuation above. because we was looking for the same reaction right here. So we got our continuation right here. Because we was waiting for price to break this support level. resistance right so we don't have to close our trade because price is still breaking highs giving us bullish indication we only close our trade when price starts giving us selling indications but price made a new high so we feel free to hold our trade now like I said after price makes a high there will be a correction this will be for anything. If price makes a move up, it will correct itself. If price makes a move up, it will correct itself. So with this new high, we're okay and we're comfortable with price correcting itself. So in this area, this is the previous high. Price can retest in this area and then continue back up if it wants to, or it can come below this area faking out a lot of people thinking sales taking out liquidity and then continuing higher now like i said indications are more about taking out liquidity in general so the first breakout when breakout traders are trading they're getting in on the first breakout now some people are successful with breakouts but some people are not because people get greedy people don't know how far price is going to go up so they always tp some impossible tp and think price is just going to keep buying up into that at that current time. So the time that people are trading, they think price is just going to keep going up to their target. But it's not like that. Price moves in a way that is trying to make money itself as well. So as we continue down, we're going to see price reject this level and start building its way back up. And as it builds its way back up, we'll be targeting the highs. I would go on a smaller time frame to explain, but I think this for this YouTube um, video, I think I'm just going to stay on the higher time frame so you can get a concept of how the higher time frame works. All right, so as price starts pushing back up, right above here, it targets what 
the targets to high. So now we have a new indication that price is still bullish. Price is not breaking any lows. Our previous low was down here at this support level. Price made a high, corrected itself after the indication. There was a correction and then a continuation. Now we have a new indication that above this level, price can go as high that it wants. So we're gonna figure out how high it wants to go. So this looks like as high as price wants to go when it's above this level. So we know above this level, price can come up to here every single time, All right? So as it continues, price is above that level. Where is it gonna test? It's gonna test in this area, looking for that same resistance level. Then we get another push back down because price has the right to retest. As long as it doesn't break any lows, we're okay. So as you've seen, price came above this level. This is a good area to get in a trade as well. So I'm gonna circle this as well for an entry. Everywhere I circle is gonna be most likely where you get in for entries. I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna delete this one. And we're gonna get entries on every circle that you see is where we get an entry at or where you can get an entry at. So here as well, when price was breaking highs, like I said, I will break down a smaller time frame video for you guys as well. But as we're gonna focus on the higher time frame for now. So price targeting these highs right here because we already know above this level, it can come here. So above this level, where is it gonna go? It's gonna make its way, trying to come here, fails a little bit, pulls back down, retests into this previous high, and then shoots back up, coming into here. So then we get a, another indication because even the smallest points above a previous high, it still counts as a new high, even the smallest points. So we have a new high, it will correct itself. Now, this is two things. After price makes a high, remember what I said, there's breakout traders trading. So this is gonna be price trying to take out liquidity, taking out as many buyers as possible, and then getting in sellers as well. So people are gonna be like, Lowe's was broken. So they're looking for sales. The buyers are getting stop loss hit because they're putting their stop loss below the low. And there's gonna be buyers keeping their stop loss above the highs as well, or even in this area. So price takes out both. We know that back above this level, we already know that price has the potential to go higher up into this level over here where you see these looks because this is a new high. So the reason why price sold off is because there's a new high and price can react that way when something is new. So every time you have a new high, as you can see, there was a high here. It was broken. Price made a new high and then it sold off really hard. This is just price taking liquidity and trying to take people out. So as we build back up, price is above this level. It feels free to retest the same level and gives us a new high. This is good on our hands because this means that we can still hold our trade that we're holding from down here because price is still giving us indications that it's still gonna buy. So as we continue, price is still making highs. Like I said, after price makes a high, what is it gonna do? It's gonna give a little sell off. It's trying to get the breakout traders. It's gonna give the breakout traders all their money. So all the breakout traders are giving all their money away to the markets because they are using this with no pure indication. They don't know how high price is gonna go. So it's taking them out, coming back in, taking sellers out as well. And then we're looking good from here. So as we continue, we see price is still breaking highs. No lows have been broken every time. I'm, I'm a CLO, I'm a market, so you can see that no lows have been broken. New high in the market, so what can happen to price? Price can make a sell off, that's cool. And then there's another new high as well. So let me keep track of price. There's another new high, more new highs and price is just continuing from here. I'm gonna keep fast forwarding until we see the reversal that is coming up soon. As you can see, price is still making highs, no lows being broken. Price gets a little choppy. Now pay attention to this part. As we can see here, price is making 
a support level. We can tell that price is making the support level for all the wicks and rejections to the downside and the wicks and rejections to the upside as well for a resistance level. So this is the highest that we go. And this is another way that you can find your setups because if price, if price, no, Oh yeah, I'm sick. Oh yeah, I'm sick. All right, so I'm not even gonna lie. I thought my mic wasn't recording, but let's get back to it. Um, we was explaining this part where price had an overall high, and this is how I find most of my setups. Um, price found the high here, and then we found the level of support. You can tell that this is a level of support due to the fact that price is staying steady not like how we explained earlier how far price is going down this is as far as price wants to go down average as you can see here here and here this is the highest it goes so remember we're always looking for price to give us an indication a correction and then a continuation later on so as we see here we're gonna fast forward and price gives us an indication that under this level price can go this low, right? So I like to pay attention to whatever happens first. So if we can continue here, as we can see now price breaks highs. Now, this is one doing two things. It's doing two things. Price is one, taking out all of the sellers that are coming in right here. So there's people getting into sales and they don't know what to target. So they're getting into sales by price breaking support. Because that is mostly what YouTube tells you to do. If price breaks support, then you sell. If price breaks resistance, then you buy. Or if price is at um, support, you buy. And then if price is at resistance, you sell. So just think about the people that are buying at support, sells. They'll buy at support. They'll break support because they're normally buying off the support and it moves or it goes up. They're buying the support. And then it breaks they're getting their stop loss hit because they're keeping their stop loss below jumping into sales and then also getting taken out as well so this is why i stress that you need to be buying and selling the second time around so this is price grabbing people down here once you get everybody out from here it starts to go up and breaks the resistance people are selling at resistance and buying above it as well those people are also taken out then we come in by selling here what i really like i said earlier it's not going to let me do it exactly but in real time we'll be selling as soon as price breaks back below this level and we'll be looking to come here and more indications from there so we're going to continue to come here waiting for that indication a small retest in this area and then price gives us another indication, letting us know that price is bearish under this level as well. So one, we have price come from here to here. And now we have price coming from wherever the new low is going to be at. So as we can see, price comes to build a support level here. It stops here. And slowly starts to make its way back up. The reason why we're not going to get out of our trade is because one, price made a new low, letting us know in ourselves that price is bearish and price can later on continue down as we can see and then here we have a new indication small moves and price is continuing down from here now i pretty it's pretty much um being repetitive now as you can see that everything is just repeating itself over and over so i'm gonna continue to let price come down and i want to explain overall moves now Remember this uptrend that we was on? This uptrend happened to break above another inside downtrend, right? So let's just break this down. I like to look over where I'm at in the markets, all in general sometimes. As we can see, price was on a huge downtrend and then it started picking up these highs. So as we can see here, what I'm trying to explain is that price been breaking highs this whole time. So, if we're looking at a bigger picture, 
this is price giving an indication, a correction, and now we are looking for a continuation back above this level. Now, most people will never think this deep into it, but I love thinking deep into the charts. I'm going to make another video diving deeper into the charts and how you can get an understanding of what you could be looking at, getting some general ideas of what you could be looking for, because I like, I like trying to understand what is going on overall. I like to be the guy knowing what is the long-term move so I can catch everything. So we're breaking it down. We have price touching into the same level where this high was made. We're just going to go back to the four hour. I personally do all my trades on the one hour and lower, but I'm showing y'all the four hour on this video so y'all can get an understanding because if we go to the one hour, it's going to be, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit, but as you can see, you can still see everything. You can still see the support level. It was broken, indication, correction, continuation. You can still see everything. Nothing changes. But I like to do it simpler so you can see everything real quick, real simple. So as we start building our way back up, price is at this level. Now, if we go back onto the smaller time frame, we can see that price was on this downtrend, right? Price is on this downtrend, not breaking any highs. And then we finally get this high to be broken. So price made a low, price made a high. So now we know above this level, price can come up to ever how high it wants to go. So we're gonna continue down. And it looks like price is going to just correct in these areas. And that's cool with me. We also have highs here. And we're just tracking wherever price wants to go. So with this being said, what we'll be looking to buy, we're going to continue price. And roughly around here, we have a drop and that is cool with us. That is perfectly fine with us. Now, I'm going to explain why price dropped like this, too, as well. So don't forget. Let me just remove this for the time being. Don't forget that price over here had a new low. So price has a new low under here. So this technically was price having a new low in the market. This was the correction. And then price later on came back. Now, some of you guys will probably ask, well, how come this wasn't a full reversal and how come we we couldn't ever take these buys or could we take these buys now the thing is price made a new low now as we're going to see here price failed to make a new low so there's no more indications as price kept selling down we kept getting more indications there's an indication price gave another indication another indication that it just wanted to continue to keep going down until we get here and it doesn't go any lower than the previous support level that was made so now this is when price buys off of support. So we don't we don't have another low indication to let us know, hey, price wants to continue down lower. So over here, this was the indication, a correction, and then a continuation under this level because we know under here, price will do the same thing down to this level and then down to this level. So as we see, all right? So we have highs here. And anything above this level, we're looking to buy because we know we have an indication back up to this level to buy from here, right? So as we continue here, we're going to wait and see what price is going to want to start breaking above. So yeah, here we go. We get a break in real time. We will be on this candle right here. We'll be roughly on this candle coming up. We'll be able to buy from here and we'll be able to target up to this level. I like to say when price is selling, we sell to the lows. And when price is buying, we buy to the highs. So as we see here, we don't have to worry about drawdown as well because when price is breaking these levels, it's having the same reaction, the same movement as it's doing right here. So then we have another indication in the market. The reason we bought is because price had this indication already, a correction and a continuation along with price having this full indication, a correction, and then a continuation later on. So as we see here, price is still giving us highs. And pretty much from here, we're going to let price go up 
because price is aiming for the overall highs, which happen to be here. There's a pullback as well. And then as we see here, we're looking for price to come back above this level as well. And that's pretty much rinse and repeat. Price getting all the breakout traders, grabbing liquidity, pulling back, grabbing liquidity down here, and then back above this level, targeting these highs. So it's pretty much the same thing over and over. This is price action. Mm, nothing too difficult about it. You know, it's nothing, nothing too serious. But I hope you learned something of this whole session. I'm sorry there was a clip that kind of broke off, but yeah, it was my audio. And yeah, I hope you learned something. Comment down below if you have any questions. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it.